Hey YouTube, it is Elsie from Life at 5.0. Um, thanks for dropping in. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. If you are someone who hasn't subscribed yet, please take time to hit the subscribe button and uh, maybe the bell so you know when uh, things are coming up here. I think you might enjoy it. And um, I'm doing readings, to, uh, a reading today for Virgo, uh, for our Earth baby here. And uh, I know so many Virgos that I love so much. Um, I think I probably connect with them really well because I'm an Earth sign as well. I'm a Taurus and uh, very grounded. <laughs> so I think that uh, um, some of my best friends are, are Earth signs. I connect really well also with water signs. Um, because I am also intuitive and uh, my moon is in Pisces. Um, I uh, also have many, many friends who are fire signs. Um, it seems that most of my friends are actually under the sign of Aries. And uh, that might be because I'm also a Sagittarius, which is my rising sign. So if you want to know what your sun, moon, and rising sign is, please go to my about page. Uh, at the bottom of the page, you'll see your sun, moon, and rising link there. You can click that, throw in some information, and come up with all the information that you need in order to understand who you are and how the universe has made you. So um, I am today using the Gilded Tarot and I thought that I would just switch up decks. I've been using the Arcanum Tarot for a while and I thought that I would just uh, switch up decks for a little bit. This is one of my other favorites. Actually, they're all my favorites, to be honest. Um, I don't buy them if they're not my favorites. Um, and uh, the hardest time is watching other readers who have decks that I don't have and they're just beautiful. <laughs> and uh, so I'm, I'm usually all about the art. The art is just so, so beautiful on these on these Gilded Tarot's. So we're going to use this one today. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing reading, or I'm going to be doing reading today for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, and Venus. Uh, and Vir that is for uh, Virgo. And uh, if you are falling into that sign, I am doing a collective reading today. This reading may or may not resonate with you. Anyone who logs in that is under the sign of Virgo is going to be getting the same reading. So it can't resonate with anybody. It just won't. Um, so uh, this reading today is for um, our Virgo sun signs, moon and rising, and Venus. And it is for the period of May the 1st to the 7th of 2019. I just ask for um, the help of Archangel Michael, uh, for any guides and angels that are able to come in and help with this reading today to help me know, um, to help me read these cards and be able to give the correct messages to those who need to hear them. Um, I also ask the holders of the pure white light to bless me and use me as a channel. Um, bless me and keep me safe that I will um, be able to read the, the cards and, and uh, read the energies that are, um, that are for the highest good for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for May 1st of 2019. I usually just shuffle until it feels good. Um, I love the energy of these cards. I can shuffle them for days, and I do. Sometimes I just shuffle cards while I'm watching TV, you guys. I'll just sit there and shuffle cards because it just feels good. The energy is good. I even suggest if you're not a reader to pick up a, a deck. You know, these ones are really reasonable. The, the Gilded Tarot is really, really reasonable on on um, on Amazon.com or .ca if you're in Canada, like me. Uh, actually really reasonable to get them, and I just find that the energy from them is amazing. Came out. The Knight of Cups. And if it comes back out again, it's yours. And if not, then it never was. Okay. Here we go, Virgo. You can feel your energy already. These cards are popping out. I can barely hold on to them. They are a little bit slippery because they're kind of new, but... Um, I do know that when these cards pop like this, it's usually because your energy is high. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we'll just go ahead and cut then because these cards need to come out. They are asking to come out. And so what I will do is I will do uh, the basic reading with the... Um, the spread that I'm most comfortable with. I will be uh, clarifying where needed, where I feel it's needed, uh, with the uh, rider weight, um, the smaller ones in the tip. Um, I like those, they're nice and nice and handy for, for clarification, so I don't have a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> uh, Queen of Cups, and Three of Cups in the reverse. Uh, High Priestess in reverse. And the Hermit in reverse. Five of Swords in the upright. 
we've got the Hierophant in reverse. <laughs> what is with your uh, your um, major arcana here all being in the reverse? Uh, six of Wands, which is good in the upright. Six of Pentacles is in the upright. Oh, the Three of Swords is always good in the reverse. And the Four of Cups. And so our overall energy today is the Seven of Wands. So it looks like you might be in a period where you're feeling a little bit defensive or someone is feeling a little bit defensive. Remembering that the energy in the cards can be either a divine female or divine male, um, uh, masculine and feminine energies. So don't get too hung up on the pictures on the cards because the um, genders can change depending on energy. So um, this looks like it's someone who is a little bit defensive. We'll find out a little bit more of that later. Um, someone is defending themselves for some reason. I don't know why. I guess we'll find out. Give me a moment to look things over here. Okay. All right. So, um, the uh, Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups, um, you know, first card is the strongest. Queen of Cups is uh, in the overall reading. This could be you, Virgo. Um, it is a it is a Queen of Emotion, but um, this uh, Queen of Cups is um, kind and um, generous. She is the person who takes care of everyone. So she's she's taking care, giving good advice. She's sort of the mother of, of the queens and she just sort of is the doer of everything. She has all the bases covered. She's um, taking care of everyone in the kingdom, essentially. Um, this card will come out just because, um, you know, you could have uh, this kind of, um, people could look at you with this kind of, see this kind of energy, uh, depending on how you, um, depending on, on your uh, rising sign. Um, the rising sign is, is the sign that people, how people see you. So you could be a Virgo sun sign, but um, if you are another sign as your rising sign, people will see you as that rising sign. So people could see you as in this energy, Virgo, um, as the person who takes care of everything, who, who knows what's going down at all times, the person who has the answers, the person who will direct direct someone into into you know going in the right direction if they need help um the three of cups is also in the reverse when the three of cups is in the upright it, it indicates celebration um it can also uh in the reverse it can indicate that this is a a third party connection so there may be um you could be in a relationship with someone and then you know there is a third party on the outside um i'm kind of getting the feeling from that here that there may be somebody else around that and i don't really feel like you're in a in a relationship that has actually been spoken of for some reason um my intuition tells me that you're you're sort of in the beginning stages of maybe um of maybe talking with this person you have a great connection with them maybe you talk on the phone a lot so the emotional connection is good um you uh, you see them once in a while, maybe not so often, but when you do see them, you guys have a great connection. But maybe when this person's away from you, just because you guys haven't locked it down in 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 the sense of you know monogamous, I'm yours, you are mine kind of thing, that maybe there is others that this person is is looking at, um, not because they don't like you, but because you know there there isn't really anything that has been said. You know, you haven't had that talk. You know, are we going to be in a relationship, and are we going to be in a monogamous relationship? So I don't think this is anything sinister really I don't think it's anything mean or hurtful I just think that maybe it's a situation where um, the relationship just isn't spoken of as a relationship so maybe the you know you or the other person has you know your eye on someone else or you know you're you're maybe dating it could be you're dating and just trying to find the right person um, it's in the reverse though, so it doesn't look like there's any celebrations happening um, between you and, and your person if that's if that's what the case is um, the the high priestess usually comes out um in the reverse when um when there's kind of secrets <laughs> um so usually um the when it comes out in the reverse it's um what am i trying to say it's it's connected intuition i guess disconnected 
from intuition is what I'm trying to say. So when you're disconnected from your intuition, you're not really making decisions that are for your highest good. You're making decisions still, but you may not be making decisions that are for your highest good. You could be making decisions based on your mind rather than your heart or your gut. So um, that can indicate a little bit of a sort of upside down. It also can indicate a little bit of withdraw withdrawing and a little bit of silence. Like, you know, if you if you are waiting for your person to get back to you to find out if you guys are really in a relationship, that could cause that. Um, it could cause a disconnect and from disconnection from your intuition. I know with myself, if I'm not feeling a hundred percent confident in me and what I'm doing, then that can cause me to overthink things. And when you overthink things, you're not listening to your intuition. You're listening to your own brain. So try and spend some time resting, maybe a little bit of relaxation, uh, meditation time, try and reconnect with, um, with spirit, with the universe and, uh, try and connect back to your intuition. So you can make clear, concise, uh, decisions, you know, the best, the decisions that are for your best good. Next card out here is, um, the hermit and the hermits in the reverse. Um, so when the hermit is in the upright, um, the, um, you know, you're going within, you're thinking about things, you're trying to make a decision and it's okay to do that. You know, it's okay to go within, um, go into a space that you're, you know, by yourself, maybe take a little bit of time away from the world and, and make the decisions you need to make when the hermits in the, um, in the, uh, in the reverse though, it does, does, uh, have a connotation of isolation. So when it's in the upright, you know, you've, you've gone, you know, away, maybe, to a retreat or even your living room, um, you know, alone and you're trying to think things through to find out what the next step is. When it comes up in the re reverse, though, you're not connecting with anyone. You're sort of in isolation and you're feeling lonely and withdrawn. Um, and so that's really different than it being in the upright. So if you are feeling lonely and withdrawn, please reach out to someone. We need to turn this card in the upright so you can make better decisions. Kind of goes along with this, right? So it looks like you're, you're, you're in some heavy duty thinking about something. You need to connect to your intuition and you need to get the answers that you need uh, in order to turn these guys upright again connect to your intuition and so you're not feeling lonely and withdrawn we just you know the best thing is to go within and think and figure things out with your intuition but you know you don't want to be withdrawn and lonely that's not that's not a part of what you need to do in order to make decisions um i think you may be in um in the reverse for your high priestess and for the hermit because it looks like you're feeling um like there's been some arguments going perhaps and that could be with anybody it doesn't have to be with you know a romantic person it doesn't have to be someone you're involved with you know in, in terms of love it kind of goes along with the overall which is feeling a little defensive uh feeling a little defensive here and maybe some arguments that are going on here this can also indicate a little bit of deceit as well and when i say deceit i don't mean um, you know, someone's trying to break into your house to steal stuff. I mean, like someone's wearing a false mask. It could be someone um, who is not telling you all of their feelings. Maybe um, it could be someone who perhaps is in a, you know, another relationship and really does love you or like you and isn't being honest with you because they want to resolve this thing first here. Um, and they don't want to string you along. It could also be plain out deceit. It could be someone trying to deceive you, someone trying to take advantage of you, um, you know, that kind of deceit as well. My intuition tells me that it's not that kind of deceit. I think it's someone who is is really just not telling the whole story. So that kind of deceit, not lying to you, but just not telling you the whole story. And I think it's for your good right now. For some reason, I feel like they just don't want to break your heart. They just don't want to worry you. They don't want you to, um, they don't want you to overthink anything. So they're just not telling you the whole story. Uh, the Hierophant is here and in the reverse. When the Hierophant is not in the reverse, it's it's about marriage and um, um, morality. And, you know, it could be uh, connected to religion as well. Um, it could be connected to your personal beliefs. It could be connected to, yeah, marriage as well in a serious relationship. When it's in the reverse, though, um, it's, it's indicating that you need freedom from personal beliefs. So I don't know um, if you maybe have judged yourself you you've decided that you're a certain person and I used to be one of those people I had decided what I was I decided that I had a lot in life I decided I wasn't going to go any further you know I had made made all these decisions that I was telling myself stories that weren't true so sometimes this card can indicate that you are um 
that you are um, challenging your own personal beliefs, um, that you need freedom from those beliefs, that maybe they're keeping you contained and um, close-minded, it could very well be. And uh, that's what I kind of feel is happening here, that whatever, and maybe it's not, you know, based on religion, but it could be anything that's keeping you contained and like your personal beliefs are limiting you. It's like a limited belief here. So I would say that um, it's okay to challenge the status quo, whether it's religion, whether it's your relationship, uh, friendships, it's okay to challenge, guys. It's okay to do that. That's how we find out who we are and where we're going. Just pick your words carefully and just make sure that you aren't doing it in spite or anger. Um, it's always good to get answers. It's the only way we know who we are. So yeah, go ahead and, and challenge the status quo, um, whether that be in religion, at work, in friendships, in love. Um, it's always good to ask questions. Just be sure that you're delivering it in the right way. Because after you make those decisions, those hard decisions, you are going to have victory. This is a um, this is someone that's coming home from the battle. So I've won the battle. Uh, looks like um, everyone is holding up their rods, um, you know, cheering for this person who is coming back. Um, there is a beautiful steed, and they're adorned beautifully. So whomever is coming back from the from the war here or from the fight has come back victorious. So it looks like after um, after you figure out what's going on with this deceit card, after you decide that you no longer want to be in isolation um, as the hermit, that you maybe just want to figure out what's going on, you are going to have victory. You are going to figure things out. So it's okay to go inside. Just don't go inside so far that people can't see you. That's all. Um, so yeah, it's okay to challenge the, the status quo. Challenge challenge those those beliefs here because it looks like you are going to be victorious. You're going to make good decisions because remember you're going to connect back to your to your intuition, right? So when you connect back to your intuition, you're going to make better decisions. You're going to come up victorious. And when you do, when you do come up victorious, um, the Six of Pentacles is here, and the Six of Pentacles is a card of reciprocity. So it indicates that whomever um, you are going to be having this conversation with, there's now going to be back and forth. So they're going to be putting in as much to the conversation, to the relationship, to the friendship, uh, to the family. They're going to be putting in as much as you are. So maybe before you felt like it was all one-sided. Um, once you come out of uh, your heavy-duty thinking period and your challenging of your own beliefs or um, the status quo, you are going to come up victorious. You're going to come up victorious and you're going to have reciprocity. So um, go ahead and challenge those beliefs. You have to go within to figure out what's going on. Um, next card is... Oh, good, yeah. That kind of tells the story, right? So the Three of Swords, when it's in the upright, indicates heartache and, and sadness. Maybe someone's broken your heart. When it's in the reverse, you're coming out of that. So, um, yeah, it kind of makes sense of what's going on. I just love, love how spirit connects everything. Uh, makes makes my job easier as a reader. So, um, yeah, it looks like you're coming out of this heartbreak. Whatever it was, whatever was worrying you or making you sad, whatever broke your heart, it looks like you're coming out of that now because this card has come up in the reverse. Uh, so that makes sense as to why there's going to be some reciprocity happening and why you're going to have a victory because after the victory and the reciprocity, you're no longer going to be heartbroken. So it looks like you're going to be fixing things. This card, the last card out, is the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups can um, can be, hmm, how do you say, um, I would say it, it would be like being stagnant, uh, being tired, being um, not necessarily withdrawn, but perhaps just bored. Maybe you're just um, being starting to be complacent of, of the things that are going on in your life, and it's time for a change. So it makes sense to me why this reading is all about you uh, going within and making changes and challenging your thoughts and your beliefs. Um, and, you know, it could be very well that the reason that the, the deceit is here is because maybe you're feeling a little bit bored and you're, you haven't been asking enough questions. That could be. Um, but it looks like that... Um, after the period that you're going through here, that um, this is the next thing you're probably going to have to take care of. Um, look at that cup in the air. That person is um, looking at that cup of emotion and really isn't that excited about it, right? So maybe after you go through um, this time where you're, uh, where you're thinking things out and challenging beliefs and going inside and connecting to your intuition, maybe 
the um, this isn't necessarily what you want, and maybe that's why that's in, not in the upright. Maybe you don't necessarily want a celebration because there is other people involved. Maybe once you come out of challenging your beliefs and figure out, figuring out what's going on, you realize that the most important thing for you to get is reciprocity and that you want you want um, uh, victory in that because you're you're done with your heartbreak. You're just done with the heartbreak. So it, it looks like that after you come out of it, that maybe you're just going to be bored with what's been going on. Maybe you're just going to say, you know what, I'm done here. Um, I'm done with this waiting and being stagnant. And, and um, you know, I don't really care what's in that cup. I don't care if there's emotion in there. Um, I think I'm kind of done because I've been waiting too long. So it's a good reading, you guys. Um, there is always nothing wrong to, about connecting to your intuition and definitely nothing wrong with uh, um, speaking about um, what is, uh, or, or challenging your own beliefs. So I think it's interesting that these two came up together, uh, one under the other, um, you know, bored with, because uh, you have to change your belief system, right? Uh, bored because you have to challenge. So um, I think that's really, really healthy reading. And uh, I'm just going to clarify maybe... Yeah, I'm just going to see what you're bored of. Um, I'm just going to ask Spirit if they can just clarify. Turn the cards, sorry guys. Um, clarify the Four of Cups, please, that's here. For Virgo, for May 1st to 7th. Please clarify the Four of Cups for us. What can you tell us about the Four of Cups, Spirit? Please tell us about the Four of Cups. Oh, there's one picture there. And it looks like there is a... A King of Cups that is in the reverse. So uh, the King of Cups is the Queen of Cups partner. So if this is a relationship, um, it looks like there might be some strife in the relationship. So it looks like this, um, the King of Cups has come up in the reverse um, and it's come up on the, the Four of Cups, which tells me that perhaps you're kind of bored with some um, you know, bored or feeling stagnant in this relationship um, with the King of Cups. Uh, the King of Cups is, you know, he's, he's a guy who who is uh, kind and, and brings lots of emotion. Um, he's in the reverse, though. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Um, and as a relationship, it looks like you're in the upright, um, but he is in the reverse. So it might be a little bit of strife. And, you know, there's a little bit of deceit here and um, being disconnected from things and challenging. Maybe you're making conversation with that person and you're done with having the heartache. So maybe this is something to do with someone who is not giving you the answers you necessarily need. We have one more card here, please, for the Four of Cups spirit. One more card here for the Four of Cups. A little more clarification here for Virgo, May 1st to the 7th. It's not going back in. Uh, and it looks like because you're you're done, um, uh, it's time to put down the wands. It's time to put down all of these wands that you've been carrying around, this heavy load uh, it, that you've been carrying around. It looks like uh, because of this relationship that you've been carrying a heavy load, and it's time to get out of um, your heartbreak. I think um, and that might be why you are bored and done and sort of stagnant. Um, and there's an emperor. So if it is a fire sign that you're dealing with, the uh, Aries, Leo, or Capricorn, no, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, um, that could could very well be. The emperor is usually an Aries, though, so that person that person could be an Aries. Um, but they're in the reverse, and the emperor in the reverse, the guy who is the emperor is, you know, the guy who, um, he's the father of the deck. He's like the the guy who does uh who takes care of the empire he runs empires right um he's uh he's very strong he's a father he's the guy who's he's the money guy he takes care of everything um he's trusted he is the leader um the very interesting thing here is we also have another pair here the empress and the emperor have both come up in the reverse and these two are also a match set so emperor and empress Oh, I'm sorry. No, this is the high priestess. That's not the empress. So um, the high priestess um, is someone who is connected to your intuition. And right now you're not connected to the intuition. So it is the emperor that is in the reverse. And so when the emperor is in the reverse, sorry to get you guys off track. Um, when the emperor is in reverse, um, he's not really very 
open to change. <laughs> you know, and as a rule, fire signs can be a little stuck. It can be a little headstrong. I know an Aries for sure can can get themselves stuck in, in a certain thought pattern. And it's almost like they fight with themselves. Well, if I let it go, then I lose kind of thing. So the emperor um, is more at this point when he's in the reverse into domination. Um, you know, like there's excessive control that he's using and maybe a lack of discipline. He's kind of all over the place. So... If it is an Aries that you're dealing with, that makes sense for the rest of the reading. Um, I am going to, though, see who the Queen of Cups is and why the Queen of Cups is here then. Um, because we did have the we did have the um, King of Cups come up in the reverse. So I just want to know what's going on with the Queen of Cups up here. What can you tell me about the Queen of Cups? The Queen of Cups, um, it looks like she is... Um, can you guys see... There. Okay. Um, the Queen of Cups, it looks like she's she's got the Apex card here. So she's wishing for a happy life and, you know, the white picket fence and, you know, the family and the children running and the Ten of Cups. Um, the Ten of Cups, it is the completion of happiness. So that's what she's wishing for. Um, things down here don't look all that, uh, that happy, though. And I, I, I'm not really sure why. I'm just going to pull one more card on the Queen of Cups. Please, the Queen of Cups spirit, one more card on the Queen of Cups. somebody's rushing in with um, uh, fiery intentions with passion so the knight of wands is one of the fastest or if not the fastest moving knight in the deck the thing is is when the when uh, the knight of wands comes in he can be in quickly and gone quickly as well so he's bringing passion he's bringing um, passion <laughs> he's bringing that uh, that wand with him that is uh, you know uh, fertile <laughs> so uh, he's coming in fast that could be why things are sort of in the reverse down here around this this relationship it could be because you're bored um, and you just need a little more spice in your life so who's this reciprocity with then um, is it with this knight of wands or I know you're you're looking for reciprocity but who's that with yourself yeah it's with you uh the high priestess so you're you need to you need to um be kinder to yourself i guess and maybe you're just in your own way that could very well be um the high priestess is telling you to use your your intuition um use your intuition to find out who the person is that's going to give you reciprocity um just want to know what the deceit's about um Whoever is whoever is is having deceit here is um, it's keeping them up at night. Uh, it's because of the two of cups. So um, this is uh, the soulmate card, and it's in the reverse. So someone is thinking about a relationship that's not working out, and uh, they are uh, probably not telling you um, that they have feelings for you. I have a feeling that that is what's going on. That's that's what I suspected at the beginning, and I think that's what it is because the two of cups is in the reverse. So they're just not telling you that they're. Uh, either in love with you or they're considering a serious relationship with you because they're trying to figure out what's what's going on here first okay i think that's good you guys i think that uh um that makes sense total sense and um i think we're going to ask spirit now just remember that anything that's not a major arcana card um you have the power to change all that stuff and uh that is just with your decision making anything that is a major arcana card is usually something that is already in force it's usually already in play um just because uh, that's the plan that the universe has for you so um let me just see here if this spirit if this uh reading remains the same and if, if virgo does follow what's going on here what is the outcome what's the final outcome here Just one card for the final outcome, please. That's good. We're going to have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is the harvest. So it's the harvest after all the hard work. Um, so yeah, it looks like things are going to move in a positive direction when you can get the rest of this stuff cleared up and figured out. And then there's going to be a judgment. Someone's going to make a decision about your... Um, about this relationship whether this should go on whether you're going to give your attention to the knight of wands um, you know all you want is to have a happy home and a happy life um, the five of pentacles uh, no longer being left out in the cold so um, 
it looks like if you are looking for uh, this person here, if you connect back to your intuition, if you're looking for the person for reciprocity, it looks like that person is coming to you. I don't see anything here that indicates it's coming quickly, but you know what? That's okay. Well, you know, unless it's with the Knight of the Knight of Wands, that that is a fast moving uh, love message. So unless it's with that person there, um, it looks like things are going to move fairly slow. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a good reading, you guys. It is good. And uh, let's pick an oracle card for you. Move this here. I'm gonna try these late worker oracles. Um, I have been using the uh, the Traveler lately, um, but the Light Worker Oracles are beautiful. I got them because, definitely because of their artwork. And uh, beautiful, beautiful deck, incredible artwork. Look at this. Just amazingly beautiful. So um, maybe we'll just get uh, an Oracle card and, and see if there's any other messages for you here in this reading. What other messages do we have for Virgo Spirit? Please, any other messages for Virgo? These cards are really big, they're hard to shuffle. <laughs> are there any other messages, please, for Virgo for this reading? These, um, the, the books are usually, there we go. First Ray of Power. First Ray of Power, let's see what it says. The book um, usually has a pretty extensive uh, indication of what the the card is so um, I'm probably not going to read the whole thing but I'll give you the gist. Number one, Ray of Power. Look how beautiful that is. Incredible. Look, she's waiting for. Yeah, she's an angel and she's got she's got a ray of light in her hand. So she's living in the light. How sweet. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, first ray of power. Uh, it says. The first ray of power is energy of conscious destruction. Um, it can be used in a healthy way to eliminate the past and allow for a fresh start. The first ray also carries a frequency of leadership. <laughs> I love that. It carries a frequency of leadership. It can assist you to stand in the truth of your light and so others can find their way by it. Uh, you are the light, you guys. You, Virgo, you are the light. You're going to be the beacon for other people to um, to, to 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 find their leadership. Um, the ascended, nope, sorry. It helps to straighten your willpower, strengthen your willpower, so you can accomplish any task you choose. The ascended master El Moira brings you. Well, that must be the ascended master right there, El Moira. Um, brings you uh, his particular blessing and encourages you to believe in your own strength and take the initiative on what matters most to you. So that really sums up your reading. You need to take the initiative to contact, uh, to get back in contact with your um, your high priestess here, your intuition. Um, then you're going to get the reciprocity you need. No more boredom, no more heartbreak, right? So, yeah, what a beautiful reading. So, yeah, all it is is leadership, you guys. You're going to have to, uh, um, you're going to have to take hold of, of um, leadership in your life and find out what's going on. And um, when you pay attention to your inner self and connect to your gut uh, or your um, intuition, that's when all of this is going to unravel. You're going to be really surprised at how quickly all of this will come flying at you. Um, all the good stuff is going to come flying at you once you make your decision. And I found that in my life as well. Once I decided what I wanted to do and actually started taking the steps towards that, um, that's when spirit started throwing things at me one after the other. And they're still coming quick, you guys. I'm really trying to juggle them the best I can, but my blessings are, are, are falling out of those cups so quickly that I barely have room for them. So um, I hope the same is for you. I hope that uh, things work out for you in the end and that you connect back to your intuition. Hope you guys are having a good day. Peace.